We have a music legend in the house. You know this girl's on fire. And we're talking about Alicia Keys. She has taken her Grammy-winning song catalog, some new tunes. Yes. There's a lot more to this. She produced an incredible Broadway musical based on her experiences growing up in New York City. It is called Hell's Kitchen, mm -hmm. and the show just received... 13. We can't stop saying it. 13. Say it again. More Tony time. nominations. 13. 13. Okay, yeah. including Best Musical, the most of <laughs> any musical on Broadway. The most of any musical. This year. The most of there. any musical. No, I, what? I am, I've been, been freaking out. I'm totally freaking out now. It's incredible. I'm so grateful. This is wild. But you know what? Broadway's a different animal. Like, right. you are jumping into a different pool, a pool you're not familiar with. And you landed that plane. Yeah. You, you know, I got to say why is because the team and the creative mm. partnership that is involved in this show is spectacular. Mm. Michael Greif, the director, Chris Diaz, mm -hmm. the book writer, mm -hmm. Camille Brown, the choreographer. There is so much, so much expertise yeah. in this. When you walk in there, you see a whole full beautiful story mm -hmm. and and you are swept away so it's mm. it's the team that makes it all come together so mm. this is a semi autobiographical <laughs> It's not autobiographical. Yeah. Yeah, okay, of us we're all figuring it out. Let's say yeah. it together. Yeah. Um, it, but but do, it does resemble your life and the '90s and Hell's right. Kitchen. And it does. It's absolutely based on my experiences growing yeah. up in New York. So, and so it's mm -hmm. thrilling. When you saw it, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you saw it in a million different iterations, and well, you saw Ali. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What, like, did it take you back to your younger self? You know, that's the thing. You know, this, this story is about Allie, a 17-year-old girl being raised by Jersey, her yes. single mother, yes. in, a, in the city in the 90s. And just every single detail that we think about and talk about, from the way the clothes are, to mm -hmm. every, every style, to the, to the way that the city was, and yes. who these kids and people growing up in Manhattan Plaza are, is considered and so of course it takes me back yeah. because and it takes everybody who comes back yeah. because you can feel you can not only do you remember who you were or where you where you were you recognize yourself now today it's quite timeless in that way yeah it can be any year because of how timeless the story is how did it work with you writing new songs for this it was cool yeah. I have to say it was really cool um, there were such specific parts there right. were moments that it was like we know we want a song that encapsulates yes. this moment and I find that when I'm writing I, I write like that it's a it's, yeah. a it's a moment it's a feeling it's a an feeling, emotion yeah. and so it was similar in that way and then I was able to exercise my kind of first musical theater songwriting experience which oh. was stunning with a song called 17 which is Jersey's song mm -hmm. and it is crazy <laughs> you gotta see this song it's so good um, so it was really a, a new experience a new challenge a new curiosity and I think that's another reason why it's feeling so good it's this mixture of the veterans in the game who are a part of this and and the newbies and and I'm a, I'm a newbie in yes. this world yeah and there's something exciting about bringing us all together to make mm -hmm. magic were you a musical theater kid like would mm -hmm. you do you just dream of being on Broadway and performing so the beautiful part is this story is really a mother-daughter love story yes, at is. the heart of it yeah and um, my mother moved from Toledo, Ohio, when she was 19, mm -hmm. to come to New York City to pursue her dreams of mm -hmm. acting. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I was raised in the city. That's why I was born in this city. There she is, that beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. And now she, in a way, she gets to experience this dream of hers through through Hell's Kitchen. And so it's really a full circle moment in so many ways. And so the ways that she brought me to Broadway and I, I saw so many beautiful pieces because of her passion for it. Mm -hmm. And we would stand on the cheap ticket line and get all the tickets. Yes, yes. You yes. had to. That's so cool. What shows did you see when you I remember were... seeing Bringing the Noise, Bringing the Food. Oh, yeah. Yes. I remember seeing Rent, which was oh, Michael Wright. Oh, my gosh. So when that, him, amazing, that was the best. Crazy. Amazing. I remember Miss yeah. Saigon. I remember. You know, I remember just seeing so many pieces that were, they, they taught me to dream, Yeah, you know, um, mm -hmm. and, and it's really special. And what I love about this, mu this too, this musical is we're going to hear songs that we know, yeah. but we don't quite know what you've done to them. You've made them, you've reimagined them. Yeah. I find a lot of people don't yeah. even exactly know what they're listening yeah. to, and then they're finally like, oh, this song? It's this oh. One. And it's beautiful because it's really meant to story tell. And, yeah. it, and that's the point. The songs are not just songs kind of there. Yeah. They're, they're meant to propel the story forward and to really take you deeper into the character and the emotion and the feeling. And so you're hearing the songs in a way you never heard them before, 
Even I, as we've been putting them together with my music supervisor, Adam Blackstone, who's also Tony nominated. <laughs> Let's um, go. I'm so grateful. It, he, we looked at each other and we're like, we never thought to do it like this before. Why? <laughs> and and so it's new. It's new for us as well. I love how opening night. There was yes, like, we got to talk Michelle about it. Michelle Obama, <laughs> Oprah, Gay. You, were you like this? Yes, like right. all the queens. Oh Look at our people. Every queen. You see, my husband's like, uh-uh, I'm getting in this one. <laughs> <laughs> were you nervous for them to see it? Or by that point, you Are knew you it was gold? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was just so grateful my sister showed yes. up to really support this oh. moment. It's such a big deal for all of us to be in this space, to continue to grow. Yeah. To see so much mm -hmm. diversity on the Broadway yes. stage is so powerful. And they were there. And we walked in, and I didn't realize we were all together. And everyone starts clapping. And I was like, what's happening? And I look back, and it's like, Oprah. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> Power in one area. Wow, you guys. It's amazing. Go see this show.